crime investigation. He was fired from his job, and as it turns out, his employer may have targeted him and dozens of others because they were injured at work through no fault of their own. And that's illegal. As 13 Wham's Jane Flash tells us, taxpayers could now be liable for millions of damages because the employer was the U.S. Postal Service. I remember I was drenched in sweat. Uh, the pain was incredible. July 4th, 2006. Frank Luce was on the job that holiday working as a mail sorter at the Lyle Avenue Postal Warehouse. Just after midnight, between docks 8 and 9, he was struck by a forklift. According to the police report, the operator drove over his foot, put it in reverse, and rolled over it a second time, crushing three of his toes and causing painful ligament and tendon damage. And uh, that's uh, the day my life changed uh, forever. <laughs> A decade later, Luce still undergoes physical therapy. Sessions in the pool help him prepare for his fourth surgery. In between, he's always returned to work. I think I did a great job. My reviews were always terrific. That's why the letter he received February 21st in 2012 was such a surprise. Ironically, a fellow mail carrier delivered the news he'd been removed fired immediately for taking unscheduled sick leave. But it wasn't. It was all documented. It was all approved through the Department of Labor. I was stunned. The letter contains a list of dates in question, for example, June 6, 2013. But Lou says this corresponding document shows the absence was approved in advance. He provided similar documentation for all of the dates in question. I was assured verbally that we're on the same page, we're okay. And it turned out that, uh, no, I was being set up. And Frank wasn't alone. At least 71 New York employees were fired under the National Reassessment Program. The post office says NRP was meant to evaluate and standardize procedures. But this class action lawsuit claims it targeted only people who had been injured on the job with the purpose of getting rid of them. They targeted injured on duty employees, tried to force them into retirement. I will do what I need to do to make sure my record is cleared, my character is cleared. The post office won't comment on an active legal matter. Court papers say it was simply eliminating made-up work that keeps light-duty workers on the payroll but costs taxpayer money. Yet a judge has ruled there is enough proof on the other side to move the lawsuit forward. If it prevails, potential damages and court costs totaling millions would fall on the taxpayer. As for Frank, he continues his therapy, preparing for what he wants most out of all of this, getting his job back. Jane Flash, 13 Wham News. The post office has filed an appeal of the decision that allows the case to move forward. This conversation continues on our Facebook page. And tomorrow at 8.30 a.m., when Jane Flash joins the Good Day Rochester team with more details of why a judge is moving this case forward and what's at stake for taxpayers.